Okay, guys, uh, you know, obviously um, it was a great team win. Uh, we, we faced a lot of adversity, and, you know, I think we, we uh, made some things a little bit harder than what than maybe they should have been. However, I do, I do think UConn has some good players. They've been getting better. Um, their quarterback does make plays. I really thought we reestablished momentum in the second half when we really got the downhill running game going, and that, that proved to be uh, you know, what was our ace in the hole. And uh, we made some plays when we needed to, obviously, that, you know, that we made the game a heck of a lot more exciting than what I, I thought. Uh, but once again, I thought we were done with this cardiac stuff, but we're not. All I know is it's another W, and we're pleased with it. Okay, guys, we'll open it up for questions. Just raise your hand. Ryan, Craig, how much do you think the first two games of being in the cardiac situation helped you guys, and how concerned are you with the 10 penalties for 99 yards? Well, I'm going to take them in reverse order. I just looked down the sheet, and it's hard to win uh, when you get penalized 10 times for 99 yards. And obviously, um, you know, we need, to, we need to clean that up. Uh, there were some things I was frustrated with. Uh, but nonetheless, those were the calls. But however, there were several calls that I just think we've got to become more disciplined. Uh, it's hard to win on the road, particularly when you commit 10 and 10 penalties for 99 yards. That's the last time I checked. That's a touchdown from almost goal line to goal line. Cody? Coach, uh, what do you attribute the slow start to? You playing on the East Coast, uh, you know, a lot of different things. But what do you think uh, was the reason behind that? Well, I think uh, UConn came out um, really sharp, and then we did some uncharacteristic things, Cody. Like I said, you know, we uh, we pick off a pass and we get called for, uh, you know, a personal foul. Um, we stop them on third down and we get called for a, a I don't know what the call, some late tackle. Um, there were three stops, and that had a big impact. I also think it took us a little while to get in the groove with what. We wanted to do offensively. We, you know, we do count on Trayton a lot, and he. I don't think he would have been functional tonight. He dressed, he moved around, but, you know, some of the things actually we put uh, um, Rudy in there, Rudy Stouffer in there as a tight end a lot of times, and so you can tell we're trying to do some things. We got a good big running attack, uh, and it took us a while in the second half to really begin to pinpoint that, and that had a big impact. So slow start. Uh, we've been starting faster. Tonight was not that uh, not that way. Tracy, I think you raised your hand earlier. Yeah, I was just wondering, given the way your preseason schedule's been, is the off week a pretty good time for you to kind of regroup and focus on the conference schedule coming up? Well, the off week after after three, you know, four, well, three really competitive games, um, it couldn't come at a better time. You know, we're we're. We're okay. We got guys that can play, but you know they're they're playing uh, with stingers and banged up. And like I said, hopefully we'll get trading back um, and get our legs back. You know we're excited about entering conference play. Uh, we're also extremely excited about being four and zero. And um, you know we'll we'll see on that. I I don't know. Um, I'm happy to be four and zero. We're going to hop on the plane and get back to Laramie. Josh, followed by Ryan. Hey, Coach, uh, Rome came up with a really big play there on the two-point conversion. Uh, what was your message to the team on the sidelines during that timeout? Well, during that, we were burning timeouts. We were seeing what set they were in. I know I was getting some cat calls from the stands and stuff like that, but it was a chess game. And I thought Jay, Jay really dialed up a good defense, and it was great to see Rome make that play. Sean had a couple of picks and struggled at times, yep. but he did come up with a big throw to Aiden. Just what do you think of his performance today? Well, I, you know, I talked to him. I said, you know, I felt like he was a little bit off uh, in the first half, and he said he felt fine uh, with his reads. Uh, we'll take a look at the tape. Uh, he made a lot of plays. Um, I think he's been maybe on point a little bit better before for, for, for 60 minutes. Uh, he's an unbelievable competitor, and he's definitely the leader of our football team.